this uh, this framework agreement on Iran's nuclear program. You with the president of this? No, absolutely not. Look, the president's strategy has been absolutely incoherent in the Middle East in general, and he is pinning his legacy on this agreement. Uh, this should be about the legacy of the free world and the future of our interest and stability in the Middle East uh, and a generational struggle that we're having against the largest state sponsor of terror uh, that I believe still is going to be marching towards a nuclear yeah. capability. So what the devil will definitely be in the details, uh, but I'm very concerned about what is not in this agreement and that Obama is doing whatever it takes to get an agreement uh, at the risk of our strong ally Israel and uh, stabilization in the region and, our, you know, American citizens and our own national security. What is it in the agreement that you want? So, you know, I've read through the four pages. Again, there's a lot of vague terms, uh, but I'm still concerned that Iran is the largest state sponsor of terror. They have been exporting terror around the region and around the world. Uh, they still, you know, chant death to America. They're still responsible for the death of American soldiers. None of this addresses their other irresponsible activity as a state sponsor of terror. Also does not address their weaponization capability. It still allows them to have an infrastructure. And there's a lot of technical concerns about what do you mean by continuous monitoring versus access. Uh, you know, we've watched North Korea march towards a nuclear weapon, so inspectors don't stop it from happening. Congresswoman, we're only getting started. We have a lot more questions on what's going on.